Greetings, everyone. Hey. hey. First off, thank you, Zana. Let's give it up for Zana. <laughs> Saving us, busting one nut at a time. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, you know, um, I'm pretty much um, big into spirituality here recently. And I shared that with Zayn, and that's obviously how we ended up here, right? So with me, my main thing is being spiritual is I'm a big empath. So, you know, when I go into a room, that's why I came up here. I had to, I was feeling out the vibe, feeling out that energy. The best thing I can liken it to being an empath and picking up and being sensitive to energies is if you're in a crowded elevator and someone busts ass in there, <laughs> it's kind of real similar to that. You know, you feel it out like, damn, somebody's not living right. <laughs> Everyone looks around at each other, right? It's the same with being an empath. I go in a room and I come in, I try to keep it light. I want to be a good time, a good vibe. And I come in and I'm feeling it out and then it'll hit you like a ton of bricks if you're an empath, right? You walk in and the energy isn't right, that shit is dense. Hits you like a ton of bricks, like, whoa. Somebody's aura is very mucky in the vicinity. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy, I gotta go home and take a nap. Uh oh, almost had a real accident. This is a safety hazard, Zaina, it's okay. I'll bill you later. But it makes a lot of things hard being an empath. You know, I have real bad social anxiety, you know? And I have a daughter, she's almost two years old now, Imani. And Imani likes the water. Oh, yeah. I love her. But she's almost two years old now, and she loves the water. She loves going to the beach, to the pool. Oh, this feedback is crazy. <laughs> she likes going to the pool and the beach. And so in our complex, you know, we have a pool there like most, you know, apartment complexes. And every Saturday, she gets up and throws on her bathing suit, and she's ready to go, right? And I'm like, oh, fuck. I look over there and see another family having a party. I'm like, shit. Got to share the pool with other people. <laughs> And I try to back out of it. I'm like, Imani, Daddy don't feel too good today. I'm gonna take a nap. We, maybe, maybe December we'll try this. Or something. But she's different, you guys. My daughter's different. She gets me right. She's helping me get through my social anxiety. My daughter looks at me and she said, "Come here, Dad." I bent down. I said, "Yes." She grabbed me by my shirt collar and said, "Stop being a little bitch." <laughs> We're going to that damn pool today. I'm trying to work on my backstroke. I said, damn, yes, ma'am. Mom, um, let me see if daddy can find a volume and um, we'll see what happens here. But no spirituality, I'm going to say that like 50,000 times while I'm here, by the way. For me, uh, it, it makes me realize how full of shit I am the more I grow into myself spiritually. Because if you ask me right now, I'll straight up tell you personally. I'm a pro-lifer, I think. I think I'm a pro-lifer, right? It's okay. Because like, the way I look at it, I'm like, if the, the creator, or God, the most high, whichever name you use, if they decided for life to come to fruition, you know, who are we to say, ah, I don't think so. Right? And that was my initial thought, and then my conscience comes and taps me on my shoulder and gives me a reminder, and I'm like, oh, Fuck. <laughs> What about my late teens and early 20s? <laughs> oh, damn it! I remember those depressing drives with someone's irresponsible daughter. At the abortion clinic. Damn it! Got me! Shit! So I learned from that not to be so quick to judge, right? So the moral of that is, fellas, um, when it comes to women in their wombs, just shut the fuck up about it. Hey, keep it, don't keep it. Abort it, don't. <laughs> a woman has the right to kill whatever living thing wants to be in her room that she doesn't want there anymore. <laughs> I mean, except our penises, ladies. <laughs> Can we let those frog a little bit? <laughs> I mean, it's like a heartbeat, though. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I, don't, I don't know what, what Zayn is. There anything goes, or we're all friends here. I, I realize this crowd, they're, they're with it. I like it. I love it, man. I love this. 11 11, everybody. Let's go. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. 
Yeah. I'm manifesting jokes. I've never been this funny, guys, I swear. <laughs> oh, man, it was real. A port was open or something. Yeah. Jokes and jokes and jokes tonight. <laughs> but no, um, so spirituality. <laughs> Abortion and spirituality, hell of a transition. <laughs> but no, um, it's, it's, it's tough for me, because like I'm saying, I'm learning I'm full of a lot of shit, but some things you learn when you come to spirituality, like I am, like I definitely believe in afterlife. I believe we are energy. I believe that we have spirit guides or angels around us. Like once I first came into this understanding that I had my own spiritual team around me, they're here, but I can't see them right now. They're helping me be funny and shit. <laughs> they're here. So when I first came into this, you know, I was still used to being raised Christian and religion and, you know, people being judgmental. So I thought my spiritual team was like that. And I was like, at first, I was like, I would do stuff and I'll feel bad. And I just pictured my spiritual people team around me just like, oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> How much times can one masturbate in one single day? <laughs> this is what we signed up for? I need another assignment. <laughs> Oh my God, here he is again. <laughs> Another drunken one night stand. You don't even know her or what she has. This guy, who made him? He's created it with someone else. But I have a, a quote that I like to use, and I, it just came to me a few days ago. I, I tweeted it out. And it's, cleanliness is next to godliness, right? Anybody else believe that? I really believe that shit. I, it just hit me the other day. Like, I don't like clutter, I need my space cleaned. Some people in here need to clean their auras up. <laughs> I really believe cleanliness is next to God in this, for real, because any unkept, funky ass person, and I'm not talking about they have circumstances, they're homeless, so they can't, no, no, I mean, you you willingly choose to be stink and not brush your teeth. You can't be a good human being. You just can't be a good human being. That's my, that's me being judgmental, see? That's what I like about spirituality. I get the freedom to do that. My spirit guides told me it's okay. <laughs> Even though they don't judge me, they're okay with me judging others. <laughs> the hypocrisy, I love it. But no, seriously, um, being clean is important to me. Like, I really feel like it places you closer to the creator and for your spirit team to come in and help you with certain stuff. I really think if you're a dirty person and stink your shit willingly, you probably kill people in your spare time and eat their corpses. I, this is the only, that's the only thing I can imagine. Okay, I've been watching, I've been watching Dahmer, I don't know. <laughs> he couldn't have been washing his ass. There's no way. <laughs> I know that motherfucker stinks. Oh my gosh, I love it, you guys. I love it, man. It's my first time trying out this material. And I didn't know how I'd be received, and it, was, it felt good, good. It felt better than any other material I've usually done, guys. Thank you. I just want to leave you guys with the moral of the story is while most religions tell you you have to do a bunch of shit to get to heaven or get wherever, when you're into real spirituality, the bottom line is all you gotta do is wash your ass. It's about as good as my name's Bond Green, you guys. You've been amazing. Thank you.